I came down the road, talked to Bruce, it had already taken place. And since I have quite a bit of knowledge about this, it's been sort of like, it isn't exactly what the same way it is. This, this was built by Bonanza. And since it was built by Bonanza, uh, that's basically what Jared Volker And um, Jared Volker said that he um, advised at the time that they use a certain type of creosote post, which they decided not to, and they went the cheap way and they're paying the price for that at a certain time. Um, but you have no support. You have absolutely no support in this, in this district for doing what you're doing. Now, you may go ahead and do it. You won't get a vote from me because I, I, I because they want it reestablished back the way it was. And if they want it fixed just the way it was. I, when you say I, yeah, I, what, do you, what do you mean fixed just they if you're they gonna if you're gonna do something with it, uh, the, uh, from what I've understood, they don't the people that I've talked to just say they don't want to monkey with um, change. And so I went I also found out from I went to Ida Grove I talked to Denison, I talked to about all the conference schools in the Storm Lake, and they all had the same problem. The finish line is over to the right. And the reason being is simply because of economics. Economics plays a big part because when you start the 100 yard or 100 meter dash line down here, you cannot finish in the middle. You just can't because now you could economically send that thing out to the left and push it to the middle, but economically it is not appropriate, according to what they've told me, to have that made in the middle, because it's too cost, it's cost prohibitive uh, to do it that way. So everything is down at the right-hand side of your new tracks, and all the ones in the conference up at Storm Lake, and all that has to go on, so they're all the same way. And they're all of them are Denison, actual, the same way. The they start What's that? They start in the middle. They're all to the right. You know, and to me, after listening to everybody talk, that's the way they are. So, so I, you know, saying? from talking to everybody, I, 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 I think it's going to upset the apple cart a lot if you change this. Period. Are people understanding that? I mean, the people you're talking to are they thinking that it's not going to be utilized more as a track than a football field, or do they? Want to go back to when there was a hundred kids in the class and stuff like that? I mean, where are we going with this? I don't know. I just think they would like it. Just I mean, I'd like to say the same too, man. But it's yeah. not gonna. Well, I mean, think change. I'm telling you, what it, what it is. And well, I think probably what people are thinking is they want to stay the same because they have visions of probably playing high school football there again. Well. I don't why know. not? Huh? Excuse me. Why not? Because I don't think the Wall Lakeview Auburn okay. School Board will ever vote to bring it back here. And without their vote, it's not going to happen. I mean, if we vote to play football here, the most we can do is stay status quo. I mean, our vote can't bring it back here. It, make, it takes here. a vote of both boards. And they're probably not going to do that, that I can see. Um, you know, and I think what our niche right now is, is a first-class track program. Uh, I think if we can enhance our track program by maybe moving the bleachers 30 feet down the line, I don't know. I don't have a big problem with that. But you could take a bleacher and just put down there. You could buy a brand new bleacher and just stick down there. We could do that. Yeah. I don't know if that solves the problem with the safety issue on the other ones, though. No, it doesn't. So, yeah, I know. to leave it the same as you suggest, I, I think that, what does that solve? That, that's the question I have. I think you got to address what's there somehow. And that's what and we're talking about. And I can tell you, you know, from what, he, what I've been told, that that, when it was built, the crow's nest was built, it was... Well, we can't fix what no, didn't happen back no, then. Know, we're I'm trying to fix what's wrong exactly now. What took place and, and why it took place. Well, no, none of us were here yeah. when we made those decisions. Now, should, would we have done them differently? Probably in hindsight. That doesn't solve the problem. By not addressing it at all, it doesn't solve the problem no, in my book. The only way that I can get look, go in accordance with this is to fix it the way it stands, period. And if 
you would like to do it another way, and then you mean leave sections where they are? Is that what you're referring to? Right where they are, and every fix where they are. Yeah. Just so we're clear here. Right? Okay. Like you want to interject? Or yeah, ask Brent. Yeah. Were you talking about metal? Planking for the walkway. Yeah, is there like some they, type of PVC? If somebody could build us the frame, right. would there be any way to put any? Is there a strong enough PVC material like out board. there? Some yeah. type of planking, like the decking stuff they sell now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to be any less expensive than aluminum. Okay, it's I, expensive. I was just wondering. You mean like what they put on decks? Right. Yeah. Like a, just even like a recycled or something. Anything that yeah. you know, something as strong as metal, but. Bruce and Dave both made the comment that they did not want it to be wood again because they end up oh, paying yeah, those wood, things yeah. a lot. And, it's and you have kids thing. with spikes walking right. on them and then water gets into the, where the spike yeah. holes were and yeah. I mean, you'd be like somebody walking on your roof with spikes on them. Right. So <laughs> it's not last. That's, only, that's only the request they had that it didn't go back to wood I'm because it had much more you know, yeah. yeah. and, and he knew that actually on the uh, it's a visible side bleachers that have it, that have that aluminum planking mm -hmm. that walks in front. Yeah. And that's kind of what he said, like, let's just get like go over there, I don't have to mess with those yeah. kind of thing. And that sounded like a really good idea. And they still get a good idea except for the fact that I, they seem to be very expensive the way this is laid out. I mean we're talking six grand a section just to raise it up. But like, what's a what's a new we bought some bleachers. What did we talk about that one other time, what a section of bleachers cost? I don't, I don't know what a new section of bleachers That cost. little set that we have that they move around a lot was like 3500 bucks, if I remember right. And that was, when did we buy those three or four years ago? The little set. So you know what I'm saying? Is that softball field? Or? Yeah, I think they moved it there. It was at the start-finish line. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so, just as a guess, those would probably be five or $6,000 now. Just because of metal pricing. So the one, is, one has already been moved to the softball field? Because when I was uh, saying the other night, it was part of the room. That's a smaller one that was, that was one purchased. purchased. Yeah. Oh. yeah there's there's, what, there's one that they take from the visitor room. side of the football field that always take it over there. And they want to eliminate doing that too because <coughs> it's hard on it. They drag it over there. Um, so I think that's a good idea to leave it over there and buy something for the other side. For which side? The west side. The visitor side. Yeah. Well, the one the one at the visitor side that they drag over there, or the one that's at softball field now, they drag from the visitor side. They drag it back. The place to purchase something would be at the or softball, softball field because they do. Say, they're they're all purchased together, or they're all the exact same measurements. They're made to bolt together. They unbolt them all the time and drag them over. So if you want to buy one or something, probably be from the softball field. You know, drag that back over where it should, or where it has been for, where it's twin sits, I guess, and you can buy something different. <clears throat> but the problem with this is that we just don't have any prices that we need to look at. We got a phone number now. Do but we want to look at two completely different things? Um, Dave's brought up leaving where it's at, and I put fix and leave it where it's at. Mm -hmm. Okay, which would then also mean I'm just going to write some notes down and purchase bleachers for softball. You guys tell me what you want me to find. For yeah, that's fine. We just need to get or, some prices. Or go back to the and or look at four sections, two sections, one section. I mean, we've got a difference of opinion, so do we want costs on both so that we know what we're looking at? Well, we've always taken a set of bleachers and drove them to the start finish line, right? No, that, that just the, when they finally bought that new little set. That's the first time that ever showed up in the mic. There's yeah, never been anything yeah. else there well, other than that new set. Tracks have changed in the years. It began at one point they had a finish line in the middle. Then it got moved to the end. Then I believe it got moved back to the middle, and now it might be back at the, you know, I mean, it's moved back and forth a couple times at least. When they put it in the middle, they just need to make the 100-yard extension further. And they, when they put it in the middle, that was not what tracks were doing at that time. We put it in the middle because of where the bleachers were at. 